Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 81, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And we've, uh, we've just finished doing all our crew leveling. We finished knocking off that last little dangling quest on Telos while we were here shopping. And now it's time to board the Evan Hawk and do some crew check-ins. Because it's been a while since I've had a chance to, uh, to talk with the various crew members and hopefully move them forward towards our end goal of uh, converting at least two more to the light side to being Jedi. So let's board the Evan Hawk and go from there. Uh -oh. got more snarky time, I'd like to see what I can upgrade for you. Yes, I do have a few moments to spare for your work. I would like to know what he is doing here, though. He who? He me with repairs. Oh, the problem? little droid. Is it? I suppose not. Perhaps in working on my circuitry, your assistant will learn something about how a fully functional droid is constructed. Oh, you're that kind of droid. Just ignore him and let's get to work. I would appreciate that. Our group has little in the way of time to spare, oh. and I would not want to delay you from your other duties. Oh. Right, let's get you open. See what you can do. All right. So everybody is at each other. Put together quite well. That wasn't much to do. As I told you, my design is streamlined and mm -hmm. efficient. Though I am pleased that you were able to make some improvements, and this was not just a waste of my valuable time. There were a few things from my remote that I was able to integrate into your construction. I see. Well, thank you. I'll let you get back to your work. <laughs> Goto has received a permanent plus one bonus to his dexterity. Ooh. All right. No others? Okay, good. Alright. I've got a list of seven crew that I really need to talk to. For a variety of reasons. But I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go talk to the handmaiden first. And... Hey! I actually found the right place. Ah, diggity. Okay. Hello, Madam Handmaiden. Yes. Uh, what are you doing? Gonna ask you some questions. Can you teach me some more fighting moves? I do not think you are ready for further oh. instruction. Each movement of our arts demands some time to use the art in battle, or to examine how it may be best used in battle. Okay. Uh, can I ask some questions yes. then? Do you have a name? Before entering Atris's service, yes. I carried a name, as all the children of the Ichani do. Oh. What was it? It is not important. My title and rank is of consequence, not my name. Hm. I take value in Atris's service, not in myself. Uh, oh, as do all slaves? Uh, no, no, that's, no. You should take value in yourself as well. We all have value in our oaths to others. And the promises we make. When we make that pledge, we are pledging ourselves to something greater. When importance is placed on the self, then by such acts the galaxy is unmade. Uh, all right, there's some truth in what you say. Is that your judgment of me? Are you making some comment about me turning from the Jedi code? Do you think that I lost myself when I disobeyed the Jedi? Uh, this seem uh, we'll go with option number one, because that is a, a little less challenging. If reasons of the self is why you turned away, then yes, perhaps there was a judgment there. But it was not intended as an attack. Alright, do you... <laughs> do you think I lost myself when I disobeyed the Jedi, or keep your opinions just to yourself, or I will make you regret them? No... Let's go with, do you think I lost myself when I disobeyed the Jedi? I do not know. That is a question you must ask yourself. Yeah, that's not helping. Right now, the only question I'm asking myself is why I'm letting you stay. Hmm. I... I want 
to continue this conversation tree, but I don't like that option. But, um... Let's see where it takes us. I meant no offense, but the question remains. If the question angers you, oftentimes there is a reason for such anger. Alright. What other questions do we have? Uh, I want to talk to you about your mother. I th think... I think we've done everything we can until we can get another uh, combat session. I do not think you are ready for further And I don't think I Each I'm not sure if we can either because of our level or because battle, of how much influence how we have. Um Actually, has a good question. Among the Ichani are rituals, and it does not allow for armor or anything that restricts movement. Uh <laughs> just checking it's a little cold on the ship. No. Your modesty has no place in combat. Even the youngest of the Ichani understand this. You should as well. Eh, all right. I think we've got. Oh, we got some light side points. We just um, we weren't able to progress with the conversation much, and I think, if I remember right, I need to be at level eighteen before I can get the next the next duel. So. Uh, that's actually not that far away. We'll be able to do that fairly soon. We might even be able to do that by the time we're done. Alright, so that takes care of... The Handmaiden. Let's, uh... Let's go for Mira next, because that's probably going to be a long one. Where is Mira? Oh, that's Korea. There we go. Hi. Oh, hey. Uh, can I ask you something? Yeah, anything you want. <laughs> All right, something wrong. Why are you looking at me like that? Can I get some grenades from you? There are some questions I want to ask. I was hoping we could talk. Uh, so let's start with something wrong. Your face. You, well... You have this glow. Oh. I mean, not a real glow, but it's like you're calm. It's the hair, isn't it? At peace. Oh. But, but it's more than that. You haven't been chewing on spice, have you? Uh, <laughs> I don't poison my body with spice. Uh, when one's in touch with the force, others can feel it. Oh, well, it shows. It's like you're hooked up to a power coupling. It's weird. I mean, not bad weird. It's just weird. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought you and the handmaiden, but it's just the force. Oh. Are you jealous about the handmaiden and I? It's not that kind of glow. It's just the force. Me and the handmaiden, what? You know, hooked up a power coupling, you know? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh... Wow. So what's, what kind of options do we have for that? What are you talking about? We don't have that kind of relationship. I would sooner stab myself with a lightsaber after I stabbed her. Yikes. She's more like a sister to me. Eek. I care about her, but I can't allow myself to form attachments now. I think we have bigger things to worry about than... Power couplings. It's not that kind of glow. It's just the force. Oh, what what's going to be the more entertaining one? Let's let, let's go with let's play dumb. What are you talking about? Did you get out much as a Jedi? I was asking if you two had been you know, intimate. Uh, okay. Okay. And now we're back to the rest of uh the rest of the options. Let's go with I care, but I can't allow myself to form attachments now. Got it. Just checking. I was hoping we could talk. Talk? About what? Uh, there are some questions. Just wanted to get to know you a little better. Let's go with just wanted to get to know you a little Why better. Why are you trying to be my father? Oh. No thanks. Already had one. 
somewhere. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. You, you can just go right into that. No, no. I was hoping we could hook up a power coupling. Okay. Uh, give me a chance. Are you sure you're a Jedi? That exile of yours must have gone on longer than I thought. Look, you're way too old for me. Oh. Even if I were interested, you couldn't handle me anyway. I mean, you're really good in a fight, and you've got those intense eyes. And it's obvious you take care of your body, but I really don't have the luxury wow. to be attached to you. Besides, you already have your little entourage. I don't want to be a part of the pack, you know? Wow. What are you talking about? Look, if we start sharing a bunk, the other girls would get upset, and then I'd have to kick the hell out of them to show them who's the pack oh. leader around here. No thanks. You're a sweet old guy. Wow. Let's keep it professional. I'm not that old. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I didn't think you'd run away from a challenge. You know what? Let, let's get out of this line of let's let's get out of this line of dialogue and uh Oh man. <laughs> You're sweet old man. I'm not that old. Uh, although I'm not sure that's gonna help uh <laughs> All right, you know what? Never mind. There are some questions I wanted to ask. Go ahead and ask. You seem restless. You're raised. Tell me a little about Hanar. Why don't you kill your targets? Where'd you get the rocket launcher? Let's start with. Let's start at the top. You seem restless. I was traveling, being trapped in the ship. Everything's, ugh, everything's just too quiet. What do you mean too quiet? We'll save her while it lasts. There's no smuggler's moon. Too quiet. Look, if you'd seen all the stuff that's happened on the ship, it ain't too quiet. So, uh, savor it while it lasts. I'd rather be doing something. Somewhere with people, activity, some life. Uh, like Nar Shada? Yeah. It's been a while since I've been off planet. I guess I got used to it. How so? Well, Nar Shada may be one of the biggest cesspits in the galaxy, but it's got a life to it. Activity. Aliens. Oh, it's got a life to it, all right. It's like noise, but relaxing. Little bleach the will take care of that. <laughs> relaxing like the hum of a hyperdrive, or like the tortured groaning of a trash compactor. Or like a screaming, broken hyperdrive that carries a vibra blade and hits you up for credits. <laughs> that is tempting, too. Uh, an interesting way of putting it. It's true. Narsha is a cesspit. There's far better places in the galaxy. Um, I don't want to insult in case you grew up there because I, I keep seeing that question pop up. Uh, and she sounds like she likes it there. So, you know, slamming the place is probably not going to help me build reputation. So as much as I love the snarky answers, like, you know, more like a screaming broken hyperdrive that carries a vibra blade and hits you up for credits, uh, I think I'll go with the first one. Yeah, well, I wouldn't go that far. I'll believe it when I see it. All right. Maybe one day. No, thanks. You can keep your Jedi training to oh. yourself. I already know Nar Shaddaa better than you ever will. Okay. I don't have enough influence yet. Um, oh, that reminds me. Uh... Since you have so many people that you can convert to Jedi, I might have mentioned it before, but I don't remember, so... And either way, it's worth reviewing one more time. When you're trying to influence your minions, um, you can open up conversation options when your influence gets either too high or too low for a particular threshold. Um, and so, so eventually, you can get all the conversation options by getting your influence above a threshold and building rapport or below a threshold and losing rapport. And each conversation option has those two thresholds where it's got to be above this or below that. Uh, the reason why that's important is because when you get to the part where you're actually able to train them as a Jedi, there's two factors in which path they choose. Your alignment at the time that you have that conversation and your level of influence with them at the time you have that conversation. So let's take Atten. Atten became a Jedi Sentinel like I am, so he's light side. But the reason why he's light side is because I was above a certain threshold towards the light side when we had that conversation. And 
I had a high influence with them. If I had been a dark Jedi with high influence, he would have become the Sith version of a Sentinel. Or if I had been light side, but my influence had gotten below the threshold, you know, had dropped down enough that you could have that conversation, then he would have actually turned dark, even though I was a light side Jedi. So you have, it, so the two factors that when you're trying to, to flip people to be, uh, train them as Jedi, you got to make sure that your alignment is the one you want them to emulate and the, uh, their affinity for you is where you want it to get them to go in the direction you want them to go. So you have to have both of those in alignment and, uh, Obviously, my influence with her is not high enough. This is like the second conversation I've had, so I didn't really expect that. Uh, I'm kind of surprised it gave me that option this early on. Uh, but what I want to do is if I want her to become a light side Jedi, I need to build influence and make sure I'm opening up those options by building influence. So that way she is, she likes me as well as me staying a light side Jedi then she will that that will keep her from being my resident sith all right uh forget it i had some questions for you shoot all right you seem rest all right were you raised on narshada look before we get into a game of guess the oh. pazak card pull back on the throttle i don't know you that well to start sharing our life stories all right fine all right all right uh what about hanar Hanhar is only a bounty hunter because that's the closest word for what he does. Oh. He's not out for credits. It's more vicious than that. And it runs a lot deeper. I Since noticed he's that. He's to make the whole galaxy suffer. Every living thing in it. He wants to break them, ruin them. And when they can't suffer anymore, he wants them dead. Uh, what happened? I didn't kill him once. Biggest mistake ever. Uh, what do you mean? That's a long story. Oh. I don't want to get into it. Maybe some other time. Oh, come on. All right. Go ahead and ask. Well, let's... Why don't you kill your targets? I've killed people before, but not if I don't have to. Oh, okay. But you, you don't seem to hold back when you're with me. Yikes. Forget it. I have some questions for you. Let's go with the awareness option. The the That... When a skill option pops up, that's usually a, a good path to take most of the time, maybe. Oh, do I? Is that it? How you could ever possibly hope to understand is beyond me. Jedi don't have oh. family. Whoa. I know what happened at Malachor 5, and I know the Jedi didn't care about life there. Ouch. Wow. Yikes. Not a safe option after all. Okay. <laughs> uh, easy there. Easy on the comments there. All right. Uh, you're right, and I would gladly slaughter the Mandalorians again. No, that's not going to help. If that's what you believe, then you're wrong. Maybe. We did what had to be done, and I carry that decision still. I have never stopped trying to protect others, even at Malachor. All right. In for a penny, in for a pound. Get away from me. Oh. The next time you come and ask me a question, I swear I'll shoot you in the head and dump you out the airlock. Oh. But I gained influence. Doesn't feel like I gained influence. Well, and I got enough XP to level up, so, uh, you know what? Let me, uh, let me level up. Talk to the handmaiden and see if we can have another sparring session. Cause I might, I, I might need the, I, don't, I might need the help. <laughs> I might need the sparring session to help me with uh, <laughs> Mira. <laughs> Cause she gonna kill me. All right. Treat injury, security, persuade, computer use, and awareness. Okay. Beats. That's right. We got a lot of feed options. Um, 
I'm kind of tempted to bump up to the medium arm proficiency. The only problem is I don't know of any medium armor that doesn't restrict force power use. So I think I'm stuck with the light armor proficiency for now. Um, I could finish topping off the power attack. Which increases melee damage by 12, but it's a penalty of minus 3 to hit. And the crit multiplier is increased by 1. Mm. So instead of double damage, it would be triple damage and so on and so forth. And on a critical hit, the target is knocked back unless they make a fortitude save. Alright, you know what? Yes, let's let's do that. Because honestly, I'm not going to bother doing the, the weapons-focused blaster pistol, because if I'm pulling out blaster pistol, something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. Uh, and I'm not going to do the weapons-focused melee weapons, because I have a lightsaber. And... Yeah, that that's the that is the only melee weapon I'm going to use. Jedi defense is nice, but uh, right now it's not it's not the best use of a feat. Uh, toughness is always an option though, because extra hit points are always good. Uh, close combat doesn't matter because I'm not shooting anybody. All combat is close combat when you're a Jedi. Uh, demolitions or repair as a class skill is an option, especially since I seem to be using repair for the droid discussions. Um, I'm not finessing anything. I don't have the decks for it. I'm not finessing anything. I don't have the decks for it. Mobility. 10% faster movement speed. It, it, I hate to burn a feet to speed up my running back and forth down the hallways, but I'm deeply considering burning a feet to speed up my running back and forth down a hallway. Uh, ooh, regen's always nice too. Stealth run! I'm not using stealth, so it doesn't matter. And precise shot is all range stuff, so that's not even worth it. Uh, I guess that means... Um, oh, conditioning's always an option too. Now... Let me go ahead and finish up the Master Power Attack, and then I'll rethink things from there. Okay. Ooh, and I get a new power. I... I'm going to cap off my Master Healing. This power heals all non-droid party members in a 15 meter radius. Each party member gains 15 vitality points. Plus one for every Charisma modifier, Wisdom modifier, and two times the level of the Force user. Poisons and stun effects are neutralized. Yes, please. I will happily take that. Okay. Accept. Alright. Let's step away from Mira very carefully. Let's go find the handmaiden real quick and see if she's up for another sparring session now. Yes. And you teach me some more fighting moves. I think you are ready for yes! the final tier I wish there to There we go. I you just needed that last progress. level. For this you may use any melee weapon and any shields you possess, but nothing uh -huh. else. No Jedi saber and no other items. All right. Let me prepare myself and then I will return. Very well. I shall be here. Because I need to swap out the lightsaber. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, plasma torch, negotiator, silencer, a couple of longs. Oh. Um. I mean, that's what I got handy. Yes. All right. Can you teach me I some more fighting moves? For this, you may use... All right. Shields and melee weapons, but no lightsaber, no force powers, and no other items. We shall begin this final lesson, then. And we still have to fight naked. All right, no force powers. Let's try out that power attack. Uh... Where's my melee weapon? If 
Beatrice was correct about you. Oh. You know war, its motions and currents. There is nothing more I can teach you. Uh. Then maybe I can teach you some things. Oh, I'm going to have to change the channel rating to do these jokes, aren't I? Okay, let's just go with that. I have already learned much of your styles in combat. So you've learned about my no style. To know more. Uh, what's the problem? Combat among the Ichani is a personal thing. Repeated duels are not what they are in other cultures. And I would rather oh. that this not become more than it is. And I have <laughs> taken an oath to Atris against studying from a Jedi or anything of the Jedi teachings. Uh, but do you want to learn? What I desire is of no importance. My father broke his oaths. He shamed us all. I do not wish to follow his path. I swore oh. not to follow his path. If I were to follow a Jedi against Atris's wishes, then I would be betraying her for you. Hmm. Ooh. If I am lost, then all I know, all I can teach will be lost. I wish someone to know what I have learned. There is no betrayal in learning, and it is important to me that you know the Jedi, that you know who I was, who I am. Uh, and if you do not do what you want, then you betray yourself. That sounds like a Sith option. I have fought beside you. You know me as well as you know Atrus. What do you want? Um... Let's go with that second option. There's no betrayal in learning. This is a difficult thing for me to say, but I ask that you be silent as I tell you this. <laughs> it is my desire to learn from you what you can teach me of battle. I have already learned much in our duels, but with every battle, I wish to know more of you. Oh. Your stance, your movements. I can sense shades of meaning and an echo of something I have yet to experience. Atris said that you were the only Jedi to have survived the Mandalorian wow. Wars. That you had stared into the heart of war and only turned away because you were forced I stared to into the void and the void blinked. Her. I believe that you made a choice, as my father did. And that is important to me, more than you know. And you are important to me more than you know. Oh. I will accept whatever you wish to teach me, though it breaks my oath to Atris. Uh, have you thought about your heritage? I want to talk to you about your mother. Have you thought about your heritage? I have thought about what you have said. Of my mother. Of my bloodline. There is something I would ask of you. And so it ends. I want you to teach me the ways of the Force. Oh. To become a Jedi Knight like my mother. If I were to train you, then I might harm you, and I do not wish that. I am not a Jedi Knight. Ask it of Atris. If you do this, you break your vow to Atris. Um, <laughs> I will not train you as a Jedi, but only in the ways of the Force. That seems no. Uh, the Jedi are dead. There's only me and the truth I bring. Now, let, let's go with, uh, if you do this, you'll break your vow. Just to, you know... A little more neutral, reaffirming. There is the betrayal of Atris, and there is the betrayal of my mother and father. After seeing uh -huh. you in battle, I know you more than I have ever known Atris. And I am not convinced that serving her is the greater good. Oh. I want to feel what my mother felt for my father. What ran through my mother's veins when she was one with the Force. I wish to hear what my mother heard as she fought the Mandalorians until the moment she died on Malachor V. Then know this, you have the makings of a Jedi Guardian. It's time I showed you that path. Hey, that means that we can level her up too. I will not let you down, Exile. I will honor you as I honor the face of my mother. The Handmaiden has taken her first steps on the path of the Jedi Guardian. She will grow in ability as she travels with you. Betrayal. Um... That's not ominous. Betrayal. Betrayal? Mistress? She has betrayed me. Oh. The last of your sisters has betrayed me. Well, betrayed this can't us. be good. She is your sister no more. She does not travel with the exile. Instead, she has chosen to walk the path of the Jedi. Mistress, forgive us, but are you certain? She would not forsake her oath so lightly. 
It is the truth, <laughs> and it is done. Do you doubt me? No, mistress. It is you who saved the Jedi upon Dantooine, who have collected their knowledge and hid it here to protect it. But why? How did she fall? It, it is was a the sign power of his corruption, and perhaps hers as well. He will train her, and she will be flawed. Oh. Um. I think she's mad about that. And why am I back on the bridge naked? Alright, let's fix that problem first, shall we? Let's get our double-bladed lightsaber. Let's get our Zen Shot Initiated Armor. Yeah, I didn't show you the... Now, uh, the, I didn't get a chance to bump up the defense or max dex. But I got some immunities versus melee stuff like bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing, a bump to fortitude saves, a bump to constitution, and regen three. It's a very nice. Alright, uh Okay. I won't be able to level her up until we actually go somewhere. So I think I'm gonna skip out on the rest of the crew check-ins even well oh you know let me think about this during the break it's a break if you're watching on the live stream and if you're watching on youtube you'll find out the decision i made in the next episode so if you're watching live hang tight don't go anywhere just yet well that was fun unless i just died then it was a little less than fun I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this and if you want to get notifications don't forget to hit the bell and if you really truly enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff if you have any questions queries quips quotes comments complaints or other whatnot don't forget to leave those in the comments down below lastly if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.